Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide for this special edition as we take a look at Hanno the Navigator. This video was inspired by Al Stewart and his song, Hanno the Navigator. We have included the link below. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday with special editions on Wednesdays. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing, while archaeology tells us another. Who was Hanno the Navigator? Where was he from? Why has he been so acclaimed? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at Hanno the Navigator. Hanno was a Carthaginian explorer of the 5th century before the Common Era. He is best known for his naval exploration of the western coast of Africa. The only source of his voyage is a Periplus. This is a manuscript that lists ports and coastal landmarks that the captain of a vessel could expect to find. Fortunately, the document was translated into Greek. Unfortunately, the original version in the Punic language, written by the explorer himself, has been lost to history. In his native language Punic, his name is Hanon and he is of the aristocratic Magodid family, and some scholars have thought him to be a king. Our adventure begins when Carthage dispatches Hanno, along with 60 ships, to explore and colonize the northwestern coast of Africa. He thus sails through the Pillar of Heracles and founded or repopulated seven colonies along the African coast of what is now Morocco. He also explored significantly farther along the Atlantic coast of the continent. Hanno encountered various indigenous peoples on his journey and met with a variety of welcomes. The gold trade was the foundation of the Carthaginian Empire since the 5th century before the Common Era. This may have been the purpose of Carthaginian exploration of sub-Saharan Africa. Hanno's voyage was to secure the gold route to West Africa. Hanno's complement of personnel was well over 5,000 and the additional intent of the Carthaginians was to expand their colonies abroad. How far then did Hanno travel down the western coast of Africa? According to Pliny the Elder, Hanno actually circumnavigated the continent of Africa and ventured to far off Arabia. However, modern scholars scoff at Pliny's claim as being totally unrealistic. The ancient historian Arian claimed that once Hanno sailed through the Pillars of Hercules, he ran into trouble he sailed for only 35 more days and then had to return home. Now we come to Herodotus. According to the Greek historian, he believed that Hanno made it no farther than Morocco. What does modern scholarship have to say about Hanno's voyage? There are a variety of beliefs as to how far Hanno actually explored down the coast of Africa. One school of thought is that he reached as far as Senegal. Others agreed that Hanno reached Gambia, while still other scholars argue that Hanno explored Sierra Leone, Cameroon, and Gabon. On an interesting note, Mount Cameroon, as described by Hanno, closely matches the actual volcano. What adds to the allure of Hanno's explorations is at that time, ancient navigators knew nothing of lands farther south than the Canary Islands. What made seagoing so difficult were the ships themselves. They were not equipped with a stern rudder, nor could ships withstand the winds and currents of the Atlantic Ocean, or so it was believed. On a final note, we come to the Gorilai. In the end of the Periplus, Hanno encounters strange, hairy, and savage creatures he coins as the Gorilai. Any attempts to capture the males failed. The crew were able to capture three females, yet they were so ferocious that they had to be killed. The creatures were skinned and their pelts brought back to Carthage and stored in the Temple of Astarte. What or who could these creatures have been? In 1847, the gorilla, an ape species, was scientifically described and named after Hanno's gorilla. It is unfortunate that Hanno's original writings have been lost to history. We can only speculate where he may have ventured and what he experienced or saw firsthand. This brings us to the end of Hanno the Navigator. Thank you for joining us for this special edition. Just a reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday with special editions on Wednesday. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. For your convenience, we have also posted our email address and Instagram information. We enjoy hearing from our subscribers, so feel free to contact us with any questions or comments you may have. 
If you haven't subscribed to Traveler's Tales, please do. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Traveler's Tales will return again with another special edition. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.